um, sometimes there's special needs kids or families. Uh, do you have anybody here with you this weekend? And the other side of that question is for those that might want to help you help those kids, the Joey Logano Foundation, how does that all work? Well, that's a great question. You know, and a lot of times, you go off the first part of the question, you, you get a, most of the time you do interviews, it's after a race, and I mean, the competitive side of you is is still showing, right? You're, you're usually angry about something, this, that. You, you don't really show who you actually are um, a lot of times. So, um, you know, you try to do things like this to show that, you know, you're different sometimes than what, what shows on the TV. Um, but the Joey Logano Foundation, we've been, been going on for about three years now, three, four years, and um, you know, that's definitely the most, um, you know, rewarding piece of my job, you know, because God's given me an amazing opportunity to drive a race car, right? That's like, that's a dream come true, but the, the, the bigger part of it, though, is that I'm able to talk to many people like you and, and try to, uh, you know, um, you know, get people to live a life of generosity, you know, not just financially, but with their time and doing things, and, um, and, and that's where my job really makes a stand it does something right so at the end of the day if you have a bunch of trophies that's great you know but that gets forgetting about pretty quick no one really cares uh after you retire and, and a few years go by everyone forgets about it but if you can make an impact while you're on that on that um, you know pedestal where you can talk to people and do things that's where that lasts forever that's a big deal so um, that's been the most fun for me so we have the uh part of one of the you talk about kids coming race track the jl kids crew uh we started last year i can't take credit for this idea it's my wife's idea um, but it, it all stemmed from um, a little boy named Jake Leatherman. Uh, he passed away, uh, this is a couple years ago now. Uh, he's a huge race fan. He, he passed away from cancer. And uh, we all showed up at his funeral. Um, and and a, a few drivers and 100 team guys showed up in their race suits. And it was, it was amazing. It was so cool to see everybody there. But I left really angry because I thought I missed an opportunity. I never met him while he was still with us. And because that's kind of dumb. Why, why do we, we really miss this? And uh, so we started a Jail Kids group for kids like that um, to bring them to the racetrack. And we don't even give them a VIP experience. We make them part of the team, uh, which is so cool. They, you know, push the car through tag, maybe set the air pressures of the car. Um, you know, we give them a race suit that's identical to mine. And it's so cool that not only to see their face, but their families, like their parents and stuff. Um, because what they go through, you know, we kind of forget about, right? So just think about there's a kid and what their challenges are. But imagine, and now that I have a little boy, I couldn't imagine seeing that happen to him. So um, it's cool to see the family's face light up when, when their son or, or daughter's face lights up. And that's the side of Joey Logano that you may not know. Yeah. Yeah. I can't do that without, uh, you know,